Hi, uh, my name is Pastor Greg Bowen. I'm with Victory Fellowship here in Bartow. And um, as you well know, the uh, coronavirus has changed things. So we are beginning to do services online rather than in person to protect our congregation like most churches uh, are doing in the area. What I want to talk about today is how God, the Lord, is our shepherd and how he does protect us through times like this. And we've been through, America has been through times like this and even worse. And God will see us through this. And as he sees us through this, not only will we become uh, protected by him, but we will come out stronger and better at the end of this than we were at the beginning. Because we have the precious promise that all things work together for good to those that love God. And what I'd like to do is talk about Psalms 23 today. And the first verse of Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And uh, notice this, that it says the Lord is our shepherd, not the government, not anybody else. God uses the government at times to help take care of us, but it's the Lord that takes care of us personally. He watches over each of his sheep, and we are each of his sheep, and we are a very precious and special to him. Those that aren't saved yet, he uses things like what we're going through to get their attention and help draw them to him. But the Lord is our shepherd. He's the only one that knows how to shepherd us properly. And uh, again, the government is not our shepherd, but God may use the government in certain ways. The other thing is that the, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. He's shepherd over people but until we really make it personal and we know that the Lord is our personal shepherd, we will lack the peace that passes understanding. We will lack the joy in the midst of trial and tribulation. And in this time where a lot of people are very fearful and very panicky, Christians ought to be a light in a dark place, having the peace of God, of knowing that God is our shepherd. And if you're there listening today, say it with me. The Lord is my shepherd. And he makes us to lie down in green pastures. He, God never forces us to do anything, but he strongly encourages us to chill at times like this, to be at peace, to trust in him. That doesn't mean we don't do what we can. Doesn't mean we don't protect our congregations. Doesn't mean we don't wash our hands and use hand sanitizer. But he says, do not be afraid. Trust me to protect you. So he makes us to chill out at times like this where people around us might be panicking. And he leads us beside the still waters. God leads us by his peace. It's the peace of God that passes understanding. I would submit this to you. If you're having thoughts that don't lead to peace, it's not God, but it's the devil. And it's the spirit of fear. And the word of God says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And a sound mind does exactly what Christians are doing right now. We're taking precautions. We're doing what we need to do to protect our families and our church families and everyone. But we're not panicking. We have a sound mind because God is ultimately the one that's taking care of us. And he restores my soul. God not only encourages us and, and gives us his peace and uh, gives us comfort, but he restores our soul. At times like this, we're all going to go through a certain amount of stress. That's only normal. If you're having a little bit of stress right now, it's because you're human. If you go to the, the, the Walmart and you see the shelves are empty of many items, it's normal to experience some stress. But remember, Walmart is not your shepherd. Walgreens isn't even your shepherd. Pastor Wendy sitting right here with me. Walgreens is not our shepherd. Wal Walmart's not. And only God is our shepherd. He uses Walgreens. He uses Walmart. But God, if he had to, he could create food supernaturally in front of us. So God will provide for his people. Remember the children of Israel when they went through the wilderness. What did God do? He supernaturally provided food. So it comes down to it. God can and will do that for his people. And he leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, if you're led by righteousness, 
Well, first of all, the Bible says, if we acknowledge him in all our ways, he will direct our paths. And the paths of righteousness lead us in the way where his provision is. You may have noticed as a Christian, when you got off the beaten path, when you got on the path of unrighteousness, you experienced some pain and discomfort because you didn't have the peace of God. You didn't have the provision of God like you do when you're walking in the paths of righteousness. The word of God is a light unto our path and it shows us where to walk. And if we get outside the word of God, well, when we get off the beaten path, then we can con we can encounter the wild enemies of the of the devil, we'll say, because the devil is real and he can't harm us when we're on God's path, but we get if we get off that path, we go into the enemy's territory. So Christians, let's say let's stay, especially during this time of trial in God's paths of righteousness. Don't allow stress to code to cause you to go down certain paths of addictions and things like that. But let your stress be something that causes you to come to Jesus. It causes you to uh, seek his face and seek his help and seek his peace. The peace that alcohol and drugs and pornography and this type of thing give it is only a very temporary fleeting thing that feeds the flesh. During this time, we need the peace of God that passes understanding for strength in our spirit. And we need to be a light to those and to encourage the Christians around us that we can trust in God. And verse 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And no matter what we go through, no matter how bad it is, we have this promise that God will never leave us nor forsake us. He's with us through every trial. He's with us in every circumstance. We may not always feel like he's there, but we know according to the word of God that he always is there to help us. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, no matter what trial, no matter how hard it is, God is there to strengthen us and encourage us and see us through to the other side. And verse 5 goes along with verse 4. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of our enemies. Not only does God protect us and take care of us, but he provides bountifully for us. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. That means even when we're going through that trial, even when the enemy is trying to attack us and trying to cause fear and discomfort and, and stress, that we can have the peace of God that passes understanding, that spiritual food that we need to partake of, he gives that to us. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Now, Christians, I caution you, if you don't sit down at the table, you won't have the peace of God. You won't have the joy. You have If God prepares the table, he's done his job, but we have to sit down at the table. And how do we do that? We do it through prayer and reading his word and praying together with your own devotions, praying together with your wife and with your family, and praying when you can with your church family as well. So he prepares the table, but we've got to take time to sit down and eat of that spiritual food that he's given us. And saints, whatever we go through, remember this, in the in light of eternity, it's only temporary. We're hoping and praying, of course, that this situation with the virus will only last a few months. Even if it doesn't, God's with us. But for a few months is what most people are expecting this to be. There will come an end to this. This will pass. So that brings me to the last verse that says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We are going to live eternally with the Lord. We're going to look back on all this that we're going through as a very fleeting moment in time. And God is going to be with us throughout all eternity and comfort one another with these words that when he comes back, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and those of us which remain will be caught up in the air in the clouds, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So be encouraged, be strengthened, and know that God is with you, that God is going to help you day by day in the trial that you're in right now. God bless you from Victory Fellowship, and remember, we are the little church with a big heart. We're doing great big things for God, and every time you touch a soul, it's a great big thing for God.